Hi everyone, uh, my name is Megan and I'm one of the customer success managers here with Easy Generator. Um, today I'll be walking you through the new all-in-one template, including its new and improved features. So first off, why the all-in-one template? So this new all-in-one template was designed with a better author and user experience in mind, but where does the name really come from? This template was named as it will eventually combine both the assessment and simple course template features, so you do not need to switch templates anymore within the creation step. And this is also where all future upda product updates and rollouts will be focused. So in order for your courses within Easy Generator to remain future-proof, we do recommend switching now as it will eventually replace these current templates. In this video, I'll explain where to find it and where you, what you can expect in using this new and improved template. So first things first, where to find it. So the all-in-one template can actually be chosen when creating a new course from here and the start from scratch option. Once you select here, you can scroll down and you should have access here to the all-in-one template. You can simply click on that and start click next to uh, create your first course. Or for the example that I was just in, um, you actually can uh, simply switch it uh, for a course that you've already created. So you can either click change here or simply on the course here where it says simple course or assessment depending on the template you are working in. And again, finding the all-in-one. This will simply uh, automatically switch over uh, the template that you have. It won't affect any of the content um, from any course that you've already created. So, um, and one other difference there as well, um, before, uh, if, you, if your company did have a branded template with us, um, you would also select from that new course here where um, that branding, uh, to apply that branding to your course. Um, but the one difference there um, with the all-in-one template is that instead of a temp branded template that we've created, we've actually created a design theme. So you do still select that all-in-one template from that original template list. And then in the design theme here, this is where um, your company's branding uh, will be applied. So um, your company's branding will be converted to this new template and then shared with you as a theme here, you can see, uh, as you can see here on the left-hand side. Um, it will shortly be shared with you if it hasn't been already. So feel free to get in touch with your customer success manager if you have any questions in terms of when that will be shared. So um, in terms of the design step, that's really the only differences there um, in how to apply this. Um, but for um, the actually design layouts, you can see here um, the information is a little bit, uh, is laid out a little bit differently. There's the introduction here and then the course content and different sections here on the right hand side. Um, I'll show you more specifically what that looks like from the learner's perspective um, in this live course. Um, but do know that there's a few different options here as well. Um, we have this uh, cover background photo um, and logo, um, and you can change the colors, the opacity um, of this photo, et cetera. And um, in terms of the branding, we do have two different logo options. You have this one cover background logo that is applied uh, just to the introduction, and then the main background logo that's applied to the entire course. But again, I'll show you these features shortly. Um, the differences that can be found in the configure step, the all-in-one template does have um, these four different general settings. Um, we have the save progress cross device, allow login via social media, conduct learner satisfaction survey, and allow users to download certificates. In terms of the results tracking, um, these two options here include tracking and trace settings and then the mastery score settings, very similar to um, any other uh, template that we've had. And then the template languages can all be found here as well. Um, we do still have more languages rolling out, so if you have any specific questions um, on a specific language that isn't in this list, do let us know. So just to show you what the template looks like in action, I can go to this live course, and you can see here um, when a lear learner logs into the course, the introduction is here um, with the introduction that you've created, as well as all of the different setting or um, content here on the right-hand side. So once they um, click through to start the course, the first section will open and you can see here all of the content and questions here under this one section. And as the learner navigates through, you can see here these auto, uh, automated transitions um, as they move through the course. So additional improvements also here include an improved user experience and didactic principles for a higher learning impact and improved white spacing um, that really directs the learner's attention where it matters most to the content. 
Um, all other features, including question types, the content possibilities, certificate downloads, et cetera, all remain the exact same as within the current template offerings. Um, so it's really just a few uh, changes in terms of the layout on the front end um, to, from the learner's perspective. And um, for future rollouts um, and improvements, all that will be done via the all-in-one template. Um, courses are also optimized for mobile compatibility to guarantee the same learning impact as the desktop version. Hopefully this video helps you better understand the all-in-one template and the improvements it brings. Our vision is to really create a template that encompasses all you need as an author for course creation in one easy to use template. So do please send us your feedback um, once you get started with uh, the all-in-one template. And for any questions as well, please contact the customer success team via the chat function in the tool. Happy creating.